I'm uh, getting ready to go into my first rehearsal for Billy Elliot. Uh, four weeks of rehearsal, and then four weeks of shows, uh, and then two weeks after that, uh, it's off to um, New York for the national tour. So this is the uh, Candlelight Pavilion, the dinner theater that I was talking about earlier. It was the, the second theater in my, my run of theaters right up to the um, pandemic. Um, it was the one that I did Man of La Mancha in, and, and then I was supposed to come back after Kinky Boots and do Billy Elliot, and then the uh, pandemic hit and shut everything down, so now we're picking it up again. Um, this was an interesting one, though. I mean, it, it, it's, it's like kind of that mid-level. It's not union, but it pays, and it pays more than gas money. I mean, it pays an hourly wage, and then plus a, you know, um, a show payment for every show that you do. So it's actually a, a real paying gig. I mean, it's a good one. And so they get a really good high caliber of performers and the, and the shows are really good. I mean, it's a really, they really put on a good show here um, for the price of admission. Um, it's a good, it's a really good kind of intermediate, um, you know, theater to, to get involved in, you know, as you're going up up the, uh, the ladder, uh, working your way towards equity. Um, and it's, it was a really an eye-opening experience for me too, during the audition process for La Mancha. Um, because uh, I remember coming in and La Mancha is a show that's, you know, basically, uh, you know, character wise, it's about three to one, uh, males to females, about three, three male characters for every one female character. Um, and when I came to the auditions, uh, it was very clear in the waiting room that, at that audition, the ratio of women to men was four to one, four women to every one guy in there. Um, just so unbalanced. Great for me, not for you if you're a young woman. I mean, it was just crazy. And I'm standing at the door. We had to line up at the door and I'm standing at the door and I'm listening to these young women in front of me and they're going in and every single one of them is just crushing it. I mean, knocking it out of the park. And then they would come out and the stage manager would say either you know, stick around, uh, they want to hear you, uh, you know, do some lines, or thank you very much, and thank you very much meant, thank you very much, don't call us, we'll call you, um, you're done, and every single one of these girls is coming out and getting a thank you very much, you have a nice night, right, being sent on their way, every guy who comes out, no matter how good or bad he does in there in the song, is being told, stick around, we want to hear you do some lines, um, and that, that's kind of the nature of it. I was really surprised, um, by that. I mean, it was really kind of an eye opener for me, especially again, I had mentioned, you know, this look working for me now, uh, being a, a guy who looks like this, who can sing, um, and it, and it, it's getting me parts. And I felt really bad for a lot of the girls because they are, were all so talented and only a very small number of them, um, even got to the point of being able to read. Um, it's, it's just crazy. It's crazy. And then you look at the process and coming into the show. Um, and I'll show you some of the show too, when we get to it, uh, and some of the rehearsal here, it's, uh, I mean, it really, you can really see the caliber of talent and, and the competition, um, that's out there. I mean, it's, it's crazy. Uh, and I mean, it really shows, um, but um, I'm really excited about this show. Uh, I'm playing Billy Elliot's dad. It's a dream role. It's such a great role. I'm very excited about it. Um, and anyway, you know, I'll keep you posted. I'll let you know how it goes.